Rahim. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Welcome, welcome to my channel Knowledge for All Seekers. I hope that you all are fine wherever you are. So today we will learn that how to design our OPEC in slim software. How we can customize it how, or how we can design our slims OPEC. So today we will learn in this video. So let's go to practical that how can we design it. Just go in our browser. Here it is our slims OPEX. OPEX of our slim software. So how can we change our our name of this how can we write over here our own library's name how can we change this logo how can we change these pictures if we want to put our own library's images here we can also put we can change logo here our own library's logo we can change this name also and we can rename it with our own library and if you go to an information we can edit this whole information about our own library we can put news as well how can we put news we will learn also in this video so how can we do it first of all we have to do we have to log in with our librarian i already told you in last lecture last video that how can we log in with our own librarian so first of all for login we will click on this librarian button we will click on this librarian so we can log in in this just click here just remove this librarian and write login and enter it then we can enter in our administration interface this is our admin admin interface or administration interface it will show all our modules like bibliography, circulation, membership, different type of commands are also in these like that. These all commands are belong to bibliography or cataloging. Circulation, how can we issue and return books? These commands will be applied. How can we do membership of our students? So in this video we are going to learn that how can we design our opac so for designing opac we will go in system module we will go in system module to design our opac just click on system module so here we can write what is our library name we will write our library name so library's name will be here so whatever we write in our library's name it will show here for example we are writing for example just like i am from mute library and online information center so i am writing mute library and online information center if you want to put your sub name library sub name you can write for example i am putting for example in sub library sub name you are writing your city also or you whatever you write it will show on opaque I am writing for example I am from Jamshoro so I am writing 
Ram Shuru. Every sub name is here. Now we have to put our own logo, which is just like this. This is Senayan's logo. We are we want to put our own library's image or logo. So we will choose from here. We will browse wherever any picture is available. For example, this picture is available in my computer. I am putting this picture as my logo. So the logo will be here. For example, we want to put logo here. So after writing name and sub name and logo, just you have to save settings. What? Just we have to save settings. Click on save settings. It will save automatically at our OPEC. System configuration saved refreshing page so if you want to see how can we see you can uh, uh, open your logo in or your opac and another tab as you can see also see here our mute our library's name is also there we have what uh, what we have changed and this logo is also changed which we put it here so that's how we can change our library name and our logo. Look at here, our sub name, uh, sub name of library is not showing here, which we have put it. This Jamshore is not showing. So from where it will be enabled, just go in themes and customize it. Our theme is this, so you can change your theme like this also. You can change, you can activate this theme also, you can activate this theme, you can activate this theme also. So currently we have this theme, so I am going to customize it. Click on it. Look at here, library sub name is hide, hidden. So we have to enable it, we have to show it. Click on show then our library sub name will be shown at opac just save settings custom data saved reload the page to see changes okay so after saving you just close from here and then go in our opac also again and just refresh your page then setting will be changed Look at there, here it is. Our sub name of library is also now showing at our OPEC system. Okay, that's how we can change our library's name and logo and sub name of our library. For example, if you want to change information of our library, this thing, if you want to change this, this whole thing uh, as our own library's information so we will go in same like system first of all system and then in teams team customize it Okay, we do not. We will go in Yes, we will go in content Here our contents are all here there. So we will go in library information First, we will go in system module and then we will come in contents. So, library information is here. So, we have to click just this edit button to edit our library's information. So, click on edit button. 
and click here edit so here it is our libraries information we can change our libraries information for example we are changing address uh, I have put in my mute library and online information library name so I am going to write the address of it faculty road mute down show same like this if you want to change your phone number you can change whatever your phone number is if you want to change your fax number or if you don't want to uh, write fax number just select and delete it timings which are the main thing you have to write timings so what are your timings you can, you can write here uh, your library opens from 8 a.m and no break in middle so, and your closing time is for example 9 p.m for example Nine PM. If you have library open in Saturday and Sunday, you can write timings of Saturday and Sunday also. If you don't want to write, just delete it. Which collection collections you have? If you if you want to write collections also, so you can write. Otherwise, delete it. And library membership. If you want to write these things. Whatever you, you you write for your library information, you can write here. So, for example, we have written this address and phone number. So, we have to just update it. We have to just click on update. Content data updated. So, how can we check it? Just go again in OPEC and refresh it look our library is in information is now changed faculty road mute jam show is now there we have not changed this number and opening timings and closing timings we put it so all of information is there so that's how we can change our library's information for example you want to put any news what uh, which any uh, updated news you can uh, put there also in news so for putting news we will go in library information no in content mm. sorry wait a minute okay you can uh, create your own content also so we are making new content for example news okay sorry right here your content title is news if you want to put it in news you will write here yes uh, if you don't want to put in news then no but we are right now putting in news so again we are getting path news whatever you you have uh, updated news for example we are putting this news mute library is now open on saturday and sunday also saturday and sunday also with same usual timings for example you can write your own news so just save here click on save content saved 
okay then just go in your opac and look what changes are there we will go and use here here it is in library news what we have put it mute library is open on saturday and sunday also with same new year timings this is our news so you can write another news also in which same pattern pattern for example if you have any event in uh, library you can uh, put it in news also so users can see here so this was our news menu how can we put news we have learned this how can we put our own information of library here in opac we have put it this we have changed our library's name also we have changed our sub name also and we have put it logo in also logo there so i hope that you have understand very well if you have any question if you have any query you can write in comments also you can change these pictures also you can change these pictures also these pictures also but it is a little bit lengthy procedure we will discuss this in another video if you have any queries or any questions you can write in comments regarding this topic opac designing or opac customization hope that you have liked this video if you have liked this video just tell me in comments and if you have any query you can uh, ask in comments also and if you have not subscribed my channel yet so please subscribe my channel knowledge for all seekers and share it with share it with you with your friends thank you allah office